I'm here with Mark Nelson of Rio Grande, and we're talking about found objects, making them into fun things. And you brought with you a bracelet that you made out of leftover tape measure. Tape measure. I was looking at my trash, and I found an old broken tape measure, and I said, this has got to be a great bracelet. Yeah, that's exactly what I would think. <laughs> <laughs> but that's why we love having you here. Let's get right into it, because this okay. looks like fun. Well, basically, I wanted a piece of silver uh, that was a little bit wider than the tape measure, mm -hmm. to kind of give it a little bit of a frame. So I have a, a half inch by um, six inches long, mm -hmm. makes a good uh, cuff style bracelet, and it's 16 gauge, nice and stable. Mm -hmm. And all you need to do is just kind of uh, bend it into shape, and silver is really pretty soft, so you can do this right by mm -hmm. hand. And as you can see, of course, we're back on our bench, our jeweler's bench, working with our wonderful tools. And to finish off the ends, I'm just going to form it slightly. Most mm -hmm. cuff bracelets are actually just formed by hand. Because mm -hmm. it is pretty soft, and I'll take these pieces. Boy, that you did bend that really easily. Oh sure. Mm -hmm. And kind of bend it into the shape of a bracelet. Yeah. And you could spend more time with this part um, at home, but okay. we have roughly a, a bracelet shape. Okay. What I want to do is get a length of uh, measuring tape uh, that's going to go around. So I'm going to hold this and get to a point. I'm gonna cut it just a little short here. Take some snips and just cut it. Now what you want to do is the corners of this is very sharp. Okay. So just take a file or some sandpaper and just very lightly knock oh, down the yeah. edges just a little bit because it is sharp and it'll mm -hmm. get po pokey on you. Exactly. So once you have that done and you got you need to put some holes in here. And mm -hmm. a great way to do that is with a little hole punch. Okay. And sometimes they this sticks on there, so I'm just gonna put a little lubrication on here. On there. And That's then, a good tip. Yeah, I like yeah. to uh, punch holes about every half inch. Okay. Um, and since so, it's a tape measure, <laughs> right, you know easy. where that is. <laughs> Very easy. And you just kind of punch a hole in there. Mm -hmm. And to get it off, it does stick a little bit. So I take a pair of pliers and just kind of work it off a little bit. There you go. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, what you'll notice is there's a little, little burr on there. Mm -hmm. So take your hammer with the ball peen part right here and just lightly tap it. Okay. And now take it down. Oh, perfect. Now what you want to do is once you have all your holes punched, mm -hmm. you want to go ahead and lay down a bracelet and mark your holes for drilling. Okay. So what I did here is I taped it. Mm -hmm. And I go through and I tape it once again about every half inch. Okay. And there. And that way I can mark my holes. Mm -hmm. I put the tape in between the holes. Is that just regular masking tape regular or something masking special? Tape. Okay. Yeah. It comes off real easy, doesn't leave a residue. Mm. And here again with a permanent marker, I can come in and mark my holes. Mm -hmm. Where I'm going to drill. Yeah. So once I have all my holes drilled, I can take the tape off. Just rip it right off. There. And what you need to do is center punch before drilling. Okay. So what you have here is a center punch, and it's a really handy tool. You just push it right where you're going to drill. Mm hmm. Kind of gets it started. Right. Mm hmm. And that'll keep your drill bit centered. Okay. And using my flex shaft. And oh, thank you. Our safety uh, glasses. Safety glasses. <laughs> get the safety glasses. That's right. We can put those on. Mm -hmm. uh, take a little lubrication on the drill bit. And I'm operating the flex shaft with a foot pedal. Mm -hmm. And you just come in, get in your little center hole there, take it up to speed, and you drill the hole. There it is. Right there. Pretty easy. And you're going to do that all the way around. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, do one more. Do one more? Yeah, sure. Okay, let's do the center punch. That's fun. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we've had a drill on before. Do the center punch. Up. There. Uh huh. Gosh, it's incredible how easily that went through. Yes, it's a good sharp drill mm -hmm. bit, so that helps out a lot. And slow start, and then you can kind of speed up. And a very light pressure. You don't want to push too much until it goes right through. Okay. 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 There and it so is. Then we're, then we'd, uh, of course, drill all our holes and get that ready. Okay. And now for the second part is that we're going to start the riveting. And I found that the easiest rivets are head pins. Okay. Because half is already done. So do you put the just put the tape back on? You put the tape back on, you start lining up your holes. Okay. And then you just take a head pin and from the top, uh, find your hole and mm -hmm. go in. Now one sometimes what I do is I take a, a file mm -hmm. and I'll put a little taper on the head pin. Okay. It makes it easier going through the holes. Now, is there anything special that you have to do to, okay, so the, ta the uh, tape measure is going to stay held down by the head pins. Exactly. So you don't have to glue it or anything like that. You no, just line it up. No, this is what they call a cold connection. Okay. Uh, and we're, we're, after we get done putting this in, mm -hmm. we're actually going to hammer the back side of it. 
and that's going to be what holds the um, okay. the tape measure down. And if it's a little stiff down there at the back, you can push it down. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Now what you want to do is you want to take some uh, flush cutters, mm -hmm. and you want to cut so that there's just a little bit left sticking up, about the same thickness as the head pin. Okay. Okay. And just clip that off. And then uh, you want to do this as you go, and then take your the ball peen part of it, and just start hammering it. And this what this does is it spreads out the end of the wire. Yeah. And it'll hold. Um, it'll hold the tape measure in place. Very durable. That is wonderful. And you just keep going on down the line. That's great. And you just keep doing that until it's in. And until it's done. Let's take a look at the um, finished project and you can see how easy this was and you know it's just a really cool creative thing that you could use any found objects maybe that you found at your house. Oh certainly. Yeah. And the rivets are really popular. And they're fun to do yes. too. Yes. Uh -huh. so. Thank you Mark. That was fun. Oh you're welcome. Coming up next we're going to be going out on location.